effort. But now let's turn to Human Rights Watch London director Tom Porteous to give us a, a take on what really was an unlikely award. Not many people expected the president uh, to take home the Nobel Peace Prize. Uh, Tom, our guest now, has in the past criticized the president's position not to release Bush era documents on interrogation techniques used for terrorism suspects. So, uh, in your estimation, is this award deserved? Well, uh, we were surprised too, to, to tell you the truth. And obviously, in the human rights movement, we're obviously pleased when the uh, Nobel Peace Prize goes to a human rights activist. Having said that, you know, I mean, President Obama has set a new tone for. Uh, U.S. foreign policy, um, there's more multilateralism, uh, he's engaging now uh, the United States with the United Nations Human Rights Council. Uh, and uh, on counterterrorism, you know, in the first week of his presidency, there were some very positive messages that were sent out, which I think did a lot to sort of ease uh, international tensions that had been caused by the, you know, a, a frankly abusive approach of the Bush administration to uh, counterterrorism. Mm -hmm. uh, have, having said that, you know, I mean, the, 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 the expectation now uh, it must be even higher, the pressure must be even higher on uh, President uh, Obama to deliver. On right, because this is early on in his administration to, to receive an award of, of this height. I mean, is this in some ways an award for not being George W. Bush? Well, I think that's a, that's a good way of putting it in some ways. Uh, the thing is that, you know, as far as the human rights organizations are concerned, you know, we, uh, we very much believe that the pursuit of international peace, uh, reconciliation and so forth must be underpinned by support for the rule of law and uh, support for respect for human rights. Um, and uh, the Obama administration in its first 10 months in office has, you know, gone some way in that direction. But quite frankly, uh, human rights, uh, accountability, international justice have not been central planks of uh, the Obama administration's foreign policy. And a very good example of that uh, was, uh, you know, the uh, U.S. Uh, administration's position uh, on the Goldstone report, which came out recently criticizing mm -hmm. both the Israelis and Hamas. Uh, in the, uh, uh, the, uh, the behavior of both those uh, parties in the conflict in Gaza mm -hmm. earlier this year. And, they, and uh, but partly because of U.S. pressure, uh, the uh, resolution uh, to uh, a resolution at the Human Rights Council on that uh, report was actually deferred for six months. We think that was a mistake. We think that actually makes peace uh, more difficult to attain rather than easier to attain. We think it's very important that the uh, Obama administration should acknowledge and accept well, who the pursuit you of peace to win? Needs, to be, needs to be underpinned by the pursuit of justice. Who had you expected to win? Well, um, you know, one never really knows with the, uh, with the Nobel Peace Prize, but uh, one of the very strong contenders was uh, Chinese dissident uh, Hu Jia. You know, there are many uh, human rights defenders who are working under extraordinarily difficult conditions around the world. And I think another uh, consequence of awarding the uh, Nobel Peace Prize to President Obama will be to put pressure on him, and I hope he mm -hmm. responds positively, to speak up in defense of these human rights defenders, people like Aung San Suu Kyi in Burma, uh, Hu Jia in China. Uh, Ayman Noor, the uh, right. Egyptian uh, opposition leader who's uh, imprisoned in Egypt, these people who are working under extraordinary conditions to mm -hmm. defend human rights in uh, countries which really don't care very much about human rights. We hope that Our Obama, as a result of receiving this prize, will, 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 will speak up in defense of these people.